Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for May 29th, 2020. Yesterday, we had a little bit of price volatility in the morning. If we take a look at a short-term chart, we popped up yesterday morning and then we sold off and then we took off to the upside. Now, what created that volatility? Well, I think it was the market trying to decide how, to, how it wanted to deal with the fact that unemployment is so high. Um, as of yesterday, the number came in showing that essentially uh, one one in four working Americans um, are unemployed. So about a quarter of U.S. working Americans are unemployed. But the bulls decided they didn't care. They were focused more on hopes of um, economic reopening. And um, we started to rally back up at the um, throughout the day. And then we had something happen. Um, so let's take a look at the technicals. Let's settle in and let's get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video and see if we can figure out how we want to approach this market for the day. So this morning, interesting, well, at the close yesterday, about 45 minutes before the market closed yesterday, the president announced that he would be doing a press conference, um, quote, on China, end quote, and left very other few details other than that. Um, we know tensions have been growing between the U.S. and China. Uh, this Wednesday, Congress sent to the president a, uh, a uh, bill to um, provide a list of sanctions, uh, possible sanctions um, against China for human rights violations. And there's also been, obviously, the kind of a nonstop um, comments from the president blaming China for the coronavirus. And now we've added in the Hong, new um, Hong Kong security law that has really been globally chastised as, as a, a, a bad thing. Even Asian, other Asian um, uh, territories, um, uh, Japan, um, before it was even released, criticized it. Um, Taiwan um, has come out standing in support of, of um, Hong Kong. So kind of globally hasn't been uh, well accepted. And we don't know what the president's going to talk about. We don't know if he's going to do anything. We don't know if there's going to be a reaction. What we do know is China has promised that if there is some kind of reaction, that they will retaliate. Wow, um, lots of unknowns. So today we have a market that's, well, understandably, a little bit apprehensive. Doesn't really know um, what the next shoe to drop might be. And so we're kind of in a wait and see mode. Now, other than that, if we look at the market technically here um, in the chart, if we take a peek, we broke through these resistance levels and we were looking like we were going to approach this resistance level up here. We are still holding in a nice trend, so we are still very bullish. But unfortunately, on the Dow yesterday, we ended up leaving a bearish engulfing candle here on the Dow. So kind of a hanging man pattern, a bearish engulfing pattern. That certainly raises the possibility or the reason that we might have to be a little bit cautious and raises that level of concern here just a little bit in the market. However, if we take a look at the, the move averages technicals in the charts and notice that we approached that 500 day moving average here in the Dow and we kind of rejected that level yesterday now what that means for the day forward I can't tell you we're holding above the 50 and if we were to pull back let's just keep in mind that we do have a support level in here but 
that is a substantial drop of, well, 1,000 points or so in the Dow if we were to pull back to that level. So that's one of the problems with these big opening gaps and these rushes to the market where we don't have any consistency in price action. Um, if, if the bears come in, um, the pain um, can be substantial. So I can't say that that's going to occur, just that we're gonna to have to be very watchful for that as we move forward through the day. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY broke through its 200-day moving average, and then on that news, we kind of turned around. So we have a little bit of, you know, we have a hanging man type pattern, and now more of a shooting star type pattern here on the Dow. And I think you could technically call that a dark cloud cover as well. So a little bit of a concerning candle pattern. What does that mean? You know, I got to tell you guys, with so much uncertainty as to what's going to be said, what's going to be done, it's impossible to know. Let's take a look here. We do have a really strong support level here, but that would be a substantial decline in the market if we were to drop into that and we'll just want to watch that pretty closely it is also possible that we could gain some support right there on that 200 day moving average i would tell you that without question we're pretty overextended in the short term of these markets and that possibility of a pullback has existed anyway so um, with this uncertainty that could really drive uh, that um, well, that uncertainty today, that that concern, that uh, apprehensiveness um, could um, really rise up. So interesting situation and um, going to be a lot for the market to grapple with this morning. Let's take a look at the cues. QQQ, um, a bit of opposing tails here. We have a... Um, a hanging man type pattern here in this consolidation and then a shooting star and what it happened to be is a complete rejection of that price high right there so we did reject that at the end of the day and we haven't quite been able to make it up here to these all-time highs the bulls want that really really bad um it, it would seem unlikely to me that we get that close and they give up the chance of getting a new um breakout and we are holding trends still in the chart. So technically speaking, there's nothing here horribly bad um, this morning in the chart. We just have those concerns of the candle patterns, maybe this pressure that we could be seeing um, building on this presser with the president. Let's take a look at IWM. Now IWM um, really didn't pretend at all yesterday. It didn't even get involved. Um, it popped up in the morning and saw selling throughout the day. Um, we have a couple of hanging man type patterns here as we pushed up toward that 200, a full on bearish engulfing candle here um, to finish up the day. So it it's um, certainly showing a concern or a little bit of heaviness here in this index. One thing I will say, however, is depending on how you draw this trend, you can draw this trend several different ways. We are still holding that bullish trend, but that does leave us with a little bit of concern, concern and heading into those news reports, we're going to have to think about that and cautiously plan around those news events. Let's take a look at the VIX. The VIX, um, interesting yesterday, let's take a look at a 15 minute. Uh, on a 15 minute, boy, we all of a sudden, boom, shot up. So we went from, you know, low 20s um, here, 26, 27 handles to uh, 29 handles in a really quick move yesterday. But on the daily chart, that doesn't necessarily show us anything uh, particularly bad. And remember, we've been kind of 
dealing with this downtrend we're kind of brushing along this downtrend in here trying to decide if we're going to move up or move down we're holding a support level in here around that 25 handle but we just haven't been able to push down even even as hard as the bulls have been pushing to the upside that volatility remains relatively high and above its 200 day moving average we do have some price support if i drop some lines in on here you can see we do have price support right through here so we're going to want to keep an eye on this VIX chart in case that fear starts creeping up and of course sanctions against China could be a good reason to see a little bit of fear rising in the market so keep that in mind let's take a look at T21 22 t21 22 is the four week new high new low ratio get a lot of questions on this because you don't find it in too many places this indicator in too many places and all it is is taking the four week new highs the four week new lows and creating a ratio and this indicator is very very um, consistent we reach up here into these upper levels and we tend to pull back we reach down here into these lower levels we tend to rally now what t21 doesn't do is it doesn't tell us the exact moment in time or that we absolutely have to fall what it does tell us is that we have stretched our rally um, a little too far at this point and we're starting to see some pressure here in the market so just keep that in mind this doesn't tell us that today is going to be the sell-off it doesn't tell us that heck it might be next week we could even stick around up here for a while but it does tell us that we have stretched the rally pretty hard here and the possibility of profit taking a little bit of pullback or consolidation exists so you want to pay attention to that pretty closely on a bright note something that i've been mentioning um for quite some time is that we have been suffering from um uh, a incon or a, a declining breadth. Um, we were. I kept mentioning that the big four were leading the market. It was Google, Amazon, Microsoft, um, and. Um, Apple that were pushing the market higher. They were doing the majority of, of the lifting, um, now making up you know twenty percent of of the S&P 500 index. So it wasn't a real good reflection of the actual index. Well, the, this week we have seen a response here where the absolute breadth of the market has moved up. So we've had a, a more of a broad-based rally, which is a good sign for the market. So we have these contradictions going on here and that little bit of uncertainty kind of heading into the weekend, what comes next, what, you know what she was going to drop here um will it be um something that helps to motivate the market higher or will it be that situation that finally in the last straw on the camel's back that finally brings in the profit takers i can't tell you just watch at that price action very very carefully and be careful how you approach um, this market today until we learn a little bit more about what the president might say now with that in mind let's take a look at our economic calendar today because we do have quite a little bit to consider on our economic calendar we have a pretty busy day here we have international trading goods at 8 30 we have personal incomes and outlays both of those have the potential for moving the market one thing i will say though is over the last month it really doesn't matter what our economic numbers say we just completely ignore them it doesn't it just doesn't matter um, everyone um, is more focused on trying to rally this market back higher and whatever comes up in the economic numbers we just largely ignore it so i don't i can't tell you if these are going to move the market as they typically would but let's keep an eye on that we also have chicago pmi we have consumer sentiment and then at 11 o'clock today we have another speech 
from Jerome Powell. And even though we're probably not going to learn anything new from him, it's always important that we pay attention to that and he can create market movement just with a misplaced word. So keep that in mind um, as we move forward throughout the day. So um, on the earnings calendar today, we have quite a few earnings reports. We have like 60 companies reporting earnings, but looking through the list, almost all of them are um, what I would consider to be uh, non-notable. I, I mean, um, low cap, very small companies are the majority that are uh, reporting today. However, one stands out. And that's here in cannabis. Um, and cannabis stocks have been uh, enjoying a huge, sharp rally here recently. And um, CGC had a big spike here this morning. But CGC is reporting earnings this morning, and it looks like it's looking at a substantial gap down here um, this morning. So kind of keep that in mind and watch that closely. Um, that's really the only particularly notable. And we could see those cannabis stocks starting to pull back um, a little bit after the steep rise that we've seen here just recently. So with that, how about we take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up for today. Um, but before we do that, if you guys could help me out here, do me a favor. If this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. You know, the purpose of these videos, and hopefully you see, is not to provide additional hype. There's plenty of hype out there in the world. There's plenty of nonsensical information out there when it comes to the market. Everyone predicting here and there and wildness um, in all of these predictions. I avoid all of that prediction and I just look at the technicals of the chart and the things that may be um, uh, possibly impacting the market for today. And what that is intended to do for the last 15 years I have traded full-time and years ago I had real trouble with emotion in the market I would rush around based on the news um, always being kind of um, emotionally charged by what's happening in the futures or what's give the fear of missing out or the dread or whatever it might be. And the purpose of, of this work and that I started doing years and years ago was to help me focus just on what is actually happening in the market. You know, what somebody else says about the market, including myself, doesn't really matter. What is important is how you see that market and how you see um, these charts. And if we take a look at those technicals, if we take a look at the things that might impact that, it helps form an opinion as to how we want to approach the market for today. If you find that helpful, if you guys could please click that thumbs up button and also leave a brief comment. I truly appreciate it. And um, help us continue to keep this channel growing. So with that, let's not delay here any longer. Let's jump into some stocks that could be setting up or have already moved and you want to keep an eye on them. One of those being Boot. We checked, checked this one out yesterday. Boot moving up. Let me uh, show you my drawings. This was a price alert that I had on the chart. And as you can see, we have a nice upside trend moving on, a nice consolidation. We popped through. Now, yesterday's selling kind of got hard uh, into the park pocket here, that bullish pocket here of Boot. But let's keep an eye on this. It is entirely possible. The Boot just kind of gradually moves back over here toward trend and we have that opportunity to move on higher. We certainly have a good bullish trend going on here. It possibly went just a little bit too soon before uh, sliding over toward its trend. So a little bit of rest and consolidation here. Really not a big problem. Just keep an eye on that chart. It may be setting up here in the future. Take a look at uh, PKI. PKI was one I mentioned um, earlier this week. Here's the price alert in this chart. We gapped up through that price alert right into this price resistance, and then we've just powered right on through. Now we're up here challenging 
all-time highs in the chart. That is something to be concerned about or thinking about here carefully if we actually fail here. And what I would consider a failure is if we break back down below this level of price support. After breaking through, I want to see a stock maintain support. So what that means is, is if this stock can continue to hold this trend, pulling back into here, resting over into this area, we still have more upside opportunity. So keep an eye on PKI. It's certainly showing signs of bullishness. Take a look at um, silver, guys. Silver is perking up here a little bit and holding in a nice pattern. We had a good bullish move here on Thursday, on Friday, or on, excuse me, on Wednesday. On Thursday, we rested just a little bit here in this uh, chart. Let's keep an eye on this. If the market starts getting a little bit funky, um, with sellers coming in, we might see some of these precious metals, silver, GLD, gold, um, start to perk back up. So keep an eye on those kind of charts. You also want to keep an eye. There's been a, I don't, I personally don't trade biotechs. Um, but there's been a lot of price action in biotechs here recently. Take a look at this REGN. REGN took off to the upside and moving pretty strongly here. Um, something you might want to keep an eye on. You might also want to keep an eye on some of the retail sector. We had a big day on Wednesday, a resting day yesterday. Dollar General, um, Dollar Tree had a huge day yesterday. We've got uh, Target trying to hold some support uh, moving up. Even um, even these really oversold stocks like UAA trying to get back up here, challenge its 50-day moving average. So a little bit of retail trying to pick up. Um, great places in retail would be places um, like Lowe's. Um, low showing a beautifully strong trend going up here, breaking through these resistance highs. Yesterday had a little bit of pullback, but these are all time highs and lows. Um, watch that star, uh, stock. Also, Home Depot is another place that you might want to look, holding up quite well um, in the market. Um, NVIDIA was giving, um, giving some positive signs yesterday, but that selling uh, came in all of a sudden pulled it back but we should keep an eye on nvidia we should keep an eye on stocks like ebay that are holding up nicely here um, in these charts um, even the cisco um, that i talked about yesterday that um, i personally own um, cisco popped on higher and then yesterday selling pulled it back but notice it's not terrible here so let's keep an eye on that and it looks like cisco is trying to move back up slightly here this morning so keep an eye on that um, could be um, an opportunity in some of these charts so with that everyone hey i want to wish you all a fantastic day plan carefully as we head into the weekend anything is going to be possible today with that presidential press conference um, all we can do is kind of wait, stay really focused to the price action of the chart, make sure you stick to your rules in your trading plan, and consider carefully the risk you carry into the weekend. Um, it's possible we could move into a weekend with pending sanctions on China and a possible retaliation from China. So kind of consider carefully the risk. Um, that you carry into the weekend. It might be a great time to pull a little profit, go to the bank and uh, go into the weekend comfortable um, as we wait for this news. So think about those things carefully. I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you an awesome, awesome weekend. And we'll see you all right back here bright and early Monday morning. Be safe, everyone.